Well, what did? I haven't read any papers for at least a month. Um, yeah, uh, that, that's at once two things. One of the dumbest moves I've ever heard of being made by a network. And also, it's what I knew when I first heard about it when, back when they were telling Jay, although your ratings are great, we don't need you to f f forever. So, you know, a wonderful way to treat the psyche of the performer, which is one thing that where people never have a clue about. Um, and I knew when I first heard it, this is never going to work. I don't know how exactly. I don't pretend to know why 10 o'clock proved to be such an awful time for a talk show. But it is. The psychology of that, that much later when The Tonight Show's on and people have had a drink or two and are about to go to bed and want some entertainment before nodding off is very different from how you feel at 10 o'clock when you could see Law and & Order or another such shows. And, and it's just unnatural to tune over to the mess Jay inherited. I thought Conan was wa interesting when he pointed out that that uh, that that hijack offer they offered him, that cynical thing that no one in his right mind would accept to get rid of him. Um, when he said that, that you, you can have the Tonight Show at 12:05, well, somebody, including Conan, pointed out that 12:05 is no longer tonight; it's tomorrow. So it would have to be called the early, early show, but anything but the Tonight Show. And they managed, I think, to damage, to make somewhat damaged goods of both artists uh, involved. And they also succeeded in making their enemy, David Letterman, <laughs> NBC's competition, more successful than ever. So whoever is responsible for this boneheaded move will, as we know from watching these things, certainly within a week or two, be uh, promoted and given a big raise.